Uh, welcome to this video. Uh, in this video, we will see that how to use the multi sim to create a simple rectifier circuit. Basically, this will be a very beginner beginner uh, video, and uh, further we will be doing some more circuits. So let us quickly start it. How to use the multi sim to create a simple half wave rectifier? I will be doing here. Uh, so before that, let me give you overview of the software and uh, what to do and where you can find all the components. You can see my mouse here in the top uh, left corner. So here all the components that is required, you will find all the components here, starting from your AC source, your diode, your resistor, your capacitor. So everything will be available in this side. And you can see on the right hand side, so there is a bar where these are generated uh, related to multimeters, oscilloscopes, function generators, and uh, digital displays. All those things are here. So when uh, whenever it is required, I will tell what is what and how to use the now let us start with uh, uh, designing a rectifier circuit. So for a rectifier circuit, what we need, we need an AC source and then we need a transformer. Uh, in the beginning video, let us not use a transformer and I will directly use a AC source uh, so that it will be easy to understand. So for that, we will go to, uh, here I need, I have searched something, so delete that, okay. Now in the sources, I will go to this signal and voltage sources and here you can see AC source is there. So just click on OK. Once you click on OK, you can see wherever you move your mouse, the source will move along with it. And wherever you want to paste uh, or keep the source, you just click one click on that, it will paste. And then click on Escape. Okay. Now you see one AC source is there. And I can change the uh, properties of that. What kind of property? If you double click on the letters, so peak voltage, let me take here 5 volt here. And here frequency is written as 1 kilohertz. Let us take 50 hertz here. Why 50 hertz? Because generally our household things are uh, being used in 50 hertz. Let us take 50 hertz here. Okay. Now, once I have the AC uh, circuit, then what I need? I need one diode. If I am making a half wave rectifier, I need just only one diode. So, from where to get the diode? See here the diode symbol is there. So, I will just click on place diode. And here it will come, uh, diode option will come. All other photo diode is there, LED is there, Jitter diode is there. So right now I am going to take the diode and we will select IN4007. So you can choose any other diode also, it will work. But why I am taking this generally, whatever a diode is available in your lab or PCB fabrication, this particular diode is available. So I am taking this one. So click on OK and I will place the diode here. So however the circuit, rectifier circuit looks, I am just trying to make it like that. And uh, after the diode, I need to see the output through a register, that is a load register. So here I go to this uh, register place basic symbols is there. So just click on that. So you can click on actually anything and here you can go to all groups. And here you see search option is there. So here you can search for it. So you can search for register. So if you search for register, you will say register rated and you can click on OK. So place the register. Now once the register is there, I want to place the register in vertical manner. So you can press Ctrl plus R. So it will rotate the register. Now you can change the register value also here. So by default it is uh, uh, 1K ohm, 1 kilo ohm is written. So let it, let it be like that. So it's not a problem. So now we'll do the connections with OS. So if you go to one end of any element, you will see this symbol will come and you just click on that. Click on the next element. And if the red bar is coming, that means it is connected. So I will connect this diode one end to this register. And the other end of the AC source, I will connect to the other end of the register here. Okay, now everything is red means it is getting connected. Fine. So next one important thing is there. Whenever you make any circuit in a multi-sim, so you need to add a ground there. So it is very important that you add a ground. So for that, I will go to this uh, all families. Here I will click on ground and the ground is there, just click on OK. I will just take the default ground, so place it here and connect the ground to the circuit. Okay, now our circuit is complete. Once our circuit is complete, next part is how do I see the output? Why do I see the output? Then you go to this left side. So from starting if you see multimeter, function generator, watt meter is there, oscilloscope is there. 4 channel oscilloscope is there. So from here I need only the oscilloscope. So I will cl cl uh, click on the oscilloscope and I will place it here. <coughs> I hope it is visible now. Uh, so here you can see in oscilloscope, 
A and B two channels are there. So that means I can view two channels. So let me zoom it little bit and I'll drag it near to this. Okay. So if I zoom in, you can see there are two channels are there. Or A channel and B channel. So basically, if you are you want to measure two types of values, then you can uh, two different signals. You can use two channels. But right now, I am just going to check voltage across the resistor. So I'll use only one channel here. So how to connect that? So see, positive and negative terminal is there. So positive terminal I will connect to the top side, and negative terminal I will connect to the ground side. Okay. So I'll just uh, connect it here. Fine. Now my circuit is complete. So what we have done, we have taken a five volt peak voltage with fifty hertz frequency and a one kilo ohm resistance here. I am not measuring what is the exact voltage or current. I just want to see the output waveform. How uh, does it look? Fine. Uh, so with this, uh, if I run this, so this uh, run symbol, or you can click on F five on the keyboard, it will run. So if I run, so you will see below. Now this is running. This it is simulating and it is running here. If there is any error, it will show the error there. Now how to see the waveform? So double click on the oscilloscope. You will see one waveform will be coming. I you can see this is a half wave waveform now. So one part of the waveform is uh, uh, zero and one part is AC as it is coming. That is how the output comes. Now if I click on single, uh, this oscilloscope uh, oscilloscope is basically same that you use in the lab. So if I click on single. So it will just show a static uh, display to me, and here you can see you can increase the scale 10 millisecond per division. So that means uh, how I divide the time scale in this uh, particular oscilloscope, and I'll increase the voltage also per division. Okay, so if sorry, I have to increase, and then I'll x pos uh, y position I'll make it below, so that uh, this will be visible clearly. Now you can see it is a proper half wave waveform is there. Now if I uh, reduce this time, you can see sir. Now it is a perfect half wave is coming. If you want to see the continuous signal, you can click on auto. So the signal will be going like this. But uh, to visualize, I need to uh, see as a static waveform. So if I click on single, you can see now the static waveform is there. So this is how you can uh, easily create one uh, half wave rectifier using a multi sim. So next we will see in the next video. I will discuss how you can create a full wave rectifier also and how to uh, see the result for that. Okay, now let us do one thing. We will compare the input uh, signal with the output signal. So for that, I will connect this channel B in the input side here, means before the rectification, and uh, this one I will connect to the ground again. Now, if I run this, and I, if I want to see the output here, now you see there are two outputs. So one you can see a perfect AC is there. Another you can see there is a half wave rectifier is there. So negative cycle is clipped out here. So both the channels, if you make it same, uh, then only it will be easy to visualize. So I will make it same. Both the channels, I will make uh, same values. So at zero, and uh, let us increase this voltage division five. Here also I will make it five. <coughs> okay, why position will change for one so that it will be visible. Now you can see that the negative part. So if I uh, bring this bar here, you see for the AC signal where the negative part is there. It is clipped out. I will show the another wave, another side of that also. So whenever the negative part is there, it is clipped out. That means it is uh, removing the negative part and it is rectifying the circuit. That's how we can compare the input and output also. So uh, that's it. Uh, how to design a half wave rectifier in multi sim? We'll see other circuit in the next video.